I am a fully simulated artificial replication capable of being driven and rendered in real time. Over the last couple of years, we've digitized me. I've got a uh, digital avatar that looks pretty close to what I look like. And it runs in real time. It's not just uh, a digital human that we're rendering for a film where we can have artists fix it up and everything. It has to actually be realistic in the moment. I'm the director of our digital human group. And it's basically a team of engineers and artists and technicians all working towards the goal of creating the most photorealistic digital human possible. Originally, my background is in feature films, creating like, digital characters like Thanos and others for big movies. And what we started seeing is that the hardware, especially in video hardware, started getting to the point where we could start to sort of close that gap from what we were doing offline for feature film rendering to what we were able to do real time. And instead of rendering hours per frame, rendering in milliseconds. We're using NVIDIA hardware in a whole wide range of different things. Most recently, we're using NVIDIA's RTX architecture to do a lot of ray tracing. We're doing ray tracing occlusion, ray tracing shadows, ray tracing everything. That's just one aspect of it, how to make DigiDug look real. But he also has to move real and behave real. And that's where NVIDIA's machine learning technology has really enabled us to do the kind of training and machine learning stuff that we wanted to do. So we have Volta cards, we have RTXs that we're using to just slam training and inference through. We also use NVIDIA throughout our entire company to make film. We're moving a lot of our rendering from CPU-based renderers to GPU-based renderers. So how the character behaves and how the character looks is all based on NVIDIA technology. And it's gonna take us into the future, really. You see things at SIGGRAPH right now that five years ago, I would have said, no way, this is, this is not possible. Now you look at it and you go, okay, yeah, I kind of got how they're doing that. This is cool. The fact that we've changed our mindset that much and that things that were impossible are now possible. How exciting is that?